them are all here and today in Gibraltar we are at the event which is organized by Hoopi. So uh, we thought, well, why not? Let's go and have a look what uh, they're going to show us because it's, um, it's not new. It's been for a while in Gibraltar where actually you can rent those scooters. Okay, and I never tried this. I'm not really into it because I think still it's not very safe to use them on the roads, even though they do have bicycles lines, but I don't know. What do you think? Are you gonna use it? You too? I'm not sure. <laughs> they are so they still all shy to talk. Because you want you want to try, right? They're saying you can try them today, so the, I don't know, maybe around here somewhere we can try them and see. I'm taking my thing to the benefits because uh, well Adam wants to take the ride around the rock at some point but I'm not sure about this <laughs> maybe he'll do on his own and I'll be just running around laughing at him and take, making videos <laughs> you need to wait until we can until we can at this one? until we can at least okay yeah I know this, I mean yeah Saturday or Sunday would be alright probably Sunday would be the best time to do it so, yeah, so we will see. Okay, now we are going to try scooters. <laughs> Look at these two, they are getting ready. Yeah, first time we are all going to try it. Well, that's me, guys. Lina is still preparing, and we are going to go. I never tried this before, so yeah, why not? Uh, look, at, look at these children. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> they conquer this place. Yeah. have no people we do have a little bit of refreshments here I think there will be something else also later from the kitchen okay and uh, we have some people I presume they are organizers down there for this event so we, we are still about 10 minutes early and uh, yeah so I'm um, looking forward to see what they're going to tell us today I'm going to present myself. My name is Marina Pankwis. I am the director of expansion of Hoppy. Uh, here today we have the Gibraltar Open Day to present to you, Gibraltarians, Hoppy and the people behind the scenes. So I've prepared a presentation. As you can see, the backdrop is Gibraltar, in fact, with some of the different parkings. And the presentation will take about 20 minutes and we will take the, hobby, the, the topics of Hoppy, presenting the company, the mission, the team. Later we will explain how Hoppy works and some of the improvements, amongst them social responsibility. And finally, the bundles, the new uh, tailor-made offers that we will roll out. Evil solutions with enforced parking, with proper last generation vehicles and of course with helmets, a clean that is served and that is fully charged. Moreover, they make sure that all the scooters that get vandalized or if anything has happened to them, Rob, for instance, get back. They do a pretty good job. Yeah. Thank you very much. But all the vehicles that you've seen here displayed are shared and available for everybody that is part of the community on the platform. So, if you're a newcomer, you have to download the app, register yourself as a user, with the payment method, and then you just have to walk up to one of our scooters, scan the QR code, and that scooter will unlock. When the scooter unlocks, it will also invite you to grab the helmet, number one, because it's compulsory to have it here in Gibraltar as part of the local rules and regulations. Then, once you unlock the helmet, you can start your ride. That ride will start from one of the enforced parking spots. You will most probably have seen them in green, painted in the, in the floor, 
here in Gibraltar, but it is also shown as a green spot on the map, as a green polygon. You will ride to the closest enforced parking to your final destination where you will be able to lock the scooter after returning the helmet there. That scooter will be available for any other user that would like to have a ride on. We were speaking about helmet and the helmet use. Well, in the beginning, because it was a fairly new technology, we had this problem of the 60% uh, uh, failure and now being reduced just to 10. If this happens, you only have to write to our platform and say this issue occurred and we will reimburse you with that uh, amount. And many of you would be thinking, how does that work? Allow me to show this video. <coughs> Helmet always secured and well fastened, even with the strap. Never travel over 25 kilometers per hour. Don't worry, our scooters are all limited to that maximum speed. We'll never be able to surpass it. And please don't ride with another passenger. Gibraltarians get 50% discount on it. So for just 15 pounds, you'll be able to have five unlocks per day with up to 100 minute ride. You can go around the island twice before that runs out. 50% discount can be requested by just scanning this code, entering and giving your credentials to access that 50% discount. Well, that's it guys. This was a presentation from Hopi organizers and um, we tried, right, to ride a little bit. So what do you think about Hopi? Wow, well, for me it was uh, fun. You, you um, thought it yeah. was fun too, right? Yeah, for me it was right. more fun and then I don't know if I'm going to use it uh, ever as a transport. <laughs> oh, because you just walking. like walking. Yeah, but anyway, I don't think it's enough uh, actually space to feel comfortable uh, on the road. On the road. Yeah. Because of the narrow here. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And uh, also there are plenty of people walking, crossing the roads, mm. a lot of cars. So for me, it's a little bit dangerous. So yeah. But as a fun. Uh, to try, yeah, but it takes time to feel, um, to feel it. Uh, it's like you are driving a car, um, so it's responsible. responsible and it takes time to learn, even if it's like only um, indication and uh, speed button and everything, but it, it takes couple of hours, you know, so a couple of if days. You, if you would be on vacation, holiday, would you use it? Well, I mean, let's say you came to Gibraltar for just a holiday and you want to see everything. Would you walk? Would you rather use Hopi? Well, I think maybe I could use a bicycle. Oh. An electrical bicycle. You prefer a bicycle more? Yeah, yeah, it's more exercises from bicycle. Oh, you just because it's more of exercise? Yeah, yeah. and it, actually bicycle is not so speedy, so you can control speed. Oh, you felt like less control on this one? Yeah. Just a little bit? Maybe it's too early to say. Maybe. Well, I mean, you probably would get used to it, but if you first time, like, if you never used it and you're trying to get right into it, you feel it's a little bit less control than a bicycle. Bicycle is easy to control. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, for me. Right. Well, I, I kind of a bit agree too because I wouldn't use it <laughs> because I don't feel comfortable the same. I mean, no, it's really nice for if you want to go like up the mountain uh, because it's hard to walk. <laughs> but if you walk, it's okay. But uh, if you want to do everything in one day, like um, 
that might be actually quite nice actually round rock you know to, to run on that round rock but that would be the same feeling that is not safe because we don't have many lanes for bicycles Plenty so, of cars. Yes, and quite a lot of cars. So and a lot of Sunday people probably walking. would be okay. Yeah, Saturday, Sunday would be okay, but during the weekdays, yeah, I wouldn't feel well, Especially fine. those uh, mm -hmm. those roads going up and down. Yeah. So they are very yeah. curvy. And, um, yeah, you need to... I mean, even with the highest speed, you can get like 25 kilometers, isn't it? Not miles now, but kilometers now. But it's still quite fast. It's still fast. <laughs> I still yeah. feel it's a bit fast, yeah. Because when you walk, you you can't really achieve that speed <laughs> when you're doing it on this. But it's quite cool. I mean, for maybe younger generation, it's fun. Yeah. yeah so they, they're, they're more. Uh, I was gonna say they're more smart. <laughs> Not sure about that, but <laughs> but they're more like uh, used to these gadgets and things. Yeah. We're just talking about that. We feel like it's a little bit. Um, still a bit dangerous to go on the road with the cars and oh, idiot trains it's a bit too speedy oh, stop talking rubbish granny oh so you would yeah, go I'm a friend next time no. look you wouldn't even last on it around the road you'll be hot just no from the, all the sun and heat not at all no uh, well I guess for men it's alright so but uh, yeah so you you like it yeah, it's alright. You enjoyed the ride? Yeah, I mean, disappointing that the speeds wound down so low, but other than that, it's alright. <laughs> yeah, it's such a different opinion. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, men would be typical men, they would want to speed. That's why I want a bike, because they can do 120. You want a bike? Bicycle or bike? The electric bike, e bikes, they do. Bicycle. Like so you prefer bicycles because Lino is also saying and, she and likes bicycles a, more. You don't have to wear a helmet with those. No, which is really strange, isn't it? No, it's better to like wear. To the wind blowing through my it's head. better to wear until you fall. <laughs> you know that you need it. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, well, that's it, guys. So, hope you enjoyed the small presentation. A little bit of our view on this something unusual for Gibraltar. Well, actually, it's not unusual because most all of locals are using it. But for the uh, visitors, it's probably is quite a nice uh, option to explore Gibraltar. Okay, so that's it for now guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, I see you, maybe we will see you sometime maybe. again at some other, <laughs> at some other event <laughs> and uh, yeah, see you, yep, see you, bye, bye. bye.